After multiple trials throughout North America, Puma Football sent 16 youth players on a once-in-a-lifetime trip to Italy, training with Italian national team coaches, meeting some of the world's best players, and playing against one of Europe's top youth academies makes for a soccer experience they'll never forget. After two rigorous training sessions, the boys are now ready for today's game against Fiorentina. So just behind me, match is about to kick off. They got a few of the Fiorentina players on the field, some of the subs, but both teams are looking to get a win today for different reasons, but our kids especially who've been training and trialing for so long to get this opportunity to test themselves against European talent. So far, the boys have looked strong. They've done well to create some chances on the attack and they've held their own defensively against a very good Fiorentina squad. Gian Piero looked good, he was an enforcer, he looked comfortable in there, he was looking to find the ball but mostly did the defensive work that you need from a holding midfielder and showed that he can compete at this level. Miguel played in two different positions, one on the wing and he actually won his battle for the most part but felt that at times he should be mixing his game up a little more instead of just dribbling at the guy, he became a little predictable but now he's playing up top which I think is also a good look for him to, to, to prove himself. Brock and Medi have actually been really good connecting in the middle, but kind of leaves a gap because they're very similar players attacking-wise, but uh, neither of them are, very su are super strong defensively, so finding a way to win that battle, it's going to require a few of them to, to, to do a little bit more on defense. My two most impressive players from the first half were actually the center backs, Max and Luca. They both looked comfortable on the ball. They had a few moments early on where they seemed a little disconnected, which is always going to be the case with guys who don't get to train together every single day. But they looked comfortable on defense. Offensively, they were building out of the back. They had a few nice switches. They were comfortable on the ball, which is what you want to see. I was pretty impressed with them. Second half is starting right now. It's 1-0 for Fiorentina. Both teams have made some changes. But you can start to hear the little bit of chirping and frustrations, which is natural, whether it's this level or, or at the highest levels. Guys start to get a little bit frustrated because they're having the ball a little bit less. They're having to take a few more chances to get forward, and that's going to leave them vulnerable in the back. And it's also really hot out here, so the guys who are going to play for the full match are definitely going to be exhausted and dehydrated. As the scoring opened for Fiorentina, they showed their quality and why they are one of the best youth clubs in Europe. This wasn't the result we were looking for, but let's go see what the guys took from this match. I think that they, they kept their position very well as a team. Uh, they pressed as one and they attacked as one. It's the fact that they they didn't use that useless running that you, you get at like a trial. You know, at a trial you have you everyone wants to prove themselves, you know, you have something to show. Um, and you always get that with a new team as well. You wanna run out your tank because you don't wanna be after a game with such a big experience like this. You don't want to have anything left in the tank. You want to say like, oh, I could have given more because you're not really going to get a chance like this. They all, they all know exactly what's happening. They're all on the same page, you know. For our team, like, it was a little off just because, again, we don't play, we don't play with each other, right? So we had that one day. Honestly, I think if we had a little bit more time to train with each other, I think that we would have been able to compete a lot more. Yeah, I definitely think that, you know, there was really good moments in that game for the whole team. You know, we stuck together. We had... Um, great amounts of possession and it was very comfortable so I think that showed that we were able definitely to play at that level unfortunately we weren't together for so long so communication wise was difficult but um, you know seeing them how they play together their their movement it's always always good to pick up and you know you learn a lot from that despite the loss the guys were able to learn a ton from this trip tune in next week where we take a look back on the trip as a whole